can't get away with on mixers, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it simple. What is up, gamers? I'm RC Styles. I am joined with the person that's responsible for me being able to do this game for you and be able to stream on Mixer at that, Mr. Crowley. We are playing Sea of Thieves. He's doing doing? his own thing. I am going to record my maiden voyage for you all. And you may have seen a short video yesterday with no audio. That was where I was kind of learning the ropes, being shown around. Chances are I forgot about maybe 75% of what he was trying to teach me. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We shall see. So let's go ahead and this. I, st I still am very highly impressed with the graphics on Xbox compared to the PlayStation. Don't go telling my PlayStation buddies that. <laughs> Because for the longest time I said I would, I was pro PlayStation only, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass. Well, I think they're comparable. I mean, some of us at the controller feel, you know, what's easier for one person versus another preference. It's just another option. But each of them have their exclusives, and they're both, they're both good. I feel like. I like them both too. I mean, well, I, I mean, I can honestly say that now. I actually like them both too. But I mean, I'm looking at this game, and this game is beautifully done compared to a lot of the games that are on PS4. It's the water. The art style doesn't try too hard, but they work on polish. You know what I mean? They're trying to deliver a really good experience, and they didn't just force content. Huh? They made sure to actually get it right first. I, I'm gonna hand the headset to Tara for a second. I want her to hear this. Enjoy. I was a day one player. I didn't get the baby voyage. It didn't, didn't exist then. I did get to do it later. You know, I'm very much glad that that microphone cable wasn't down, like I just got done saying in my intro. I'm not sure what I can and can't get away with, and I was just telling you what to do with those, uh, alcohol jars. Yeah, maybe I got you. Try bear with me, guys. I'm getting something from my wife. How are you on your, um... Do you need any more from the jar? Well, being that this is legal... Can you hear me, Rock? I can hear you. Okay. Now, being that this is legal... If you hear me talking to my lady about CBD. Well, you have, there's plenty more over here, hon, look. Um, this was a woman growing up in a time that, you know, 
recreational marijuana wasn't exactly legal, but had a very bad experience and for the rest of her life could never even smoke it. Let alone recreational, you know, medically anything. Now that they're actually breaking down the components, she has found that CBD is not only able for her to use, but it helps her with just about everything. Like, what do you have? Fibromyalgia. I keep confusing the two, fibromyalgia and cystic fibrosis. So that's why even now I ask. I mean, they're, they're obviously two different things, but the way you say them, they're relatively close in pronunciation. And I have that phonetic spelling issue. Because I'm dyslexic and see everything backwards, yeah. And really, if anybody knows anything about being dyslexic, it's not really that you see everything backwards. It's that you, you jumble things in your mind backwards sometimes, especially when it comes to reading numbers, etc. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that about me, did you? <laughs> Something new every day. But it's amazing, though. You find out that there's many people that are successful who are dyslexic. Well, there's varying degrees of everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Jerome Bettis had asthma. What's that? Jerome Bettis had asthma. Played his whole career with it. No shit. Yep. Like, Little you wouldn't things. know it. Um, I'm not going to drop any names here, but... Um, Somebody who we interact with on a regular basis with our videos, he actually is autistic. No, I definitely wouldn't have known if you didn't tell me. Yeah. But yeah, he's smart as a whip, highly intelligent, and he's fully functioning. I mean, I would have never known if he never told me either. Yeah, he's definitely a, val a valued part of this group. So I'm looking at a title screen here, a main screen here. Okay, never mind. I answered my own question. I'll shut up now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to track your progress, sir. For anybody watching that may be like, come on, come on, come on. I am a PlayStation player usually, so I'm still learning how to use these for these controllers. <laughs> and now, uh, yeah, I finally get what you said when it says uh, press X on stuff and I'm going after the A button. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what gets me. I'm looking at this too, man. I, it's weird because I'm looking at where the A and B button are, and I'm trying to remember back to the old Nintendo days. weren't Wasn't it reversed for Nintendo? B A. I'm pretty sure it might have been, but I'm not. I'm not 100. Interesting thought there. Random thought. I don't know, hon. I just sat there and said that myself. It's like, I've said a lot of stuff about Xbox over the years that I'm starting to eat my words. But that's okay, everybody. I can admit that shit. 
There's that maiden voyage of yours. I, I'm watching now. You look enjoy a little worse for wear, my friend. You what must be on quite the journey. I said enjoy the I should eat the something basis. if I were you. A full belly can do wonders mm. for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. That's, yeah, okay, that's what you were telling me yesterday. There, you look better already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord. But back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer like you. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger, where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. Now you've one last crossing to make. You'll want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. Well, this is pretty cool. It almost plays out like a Final Fantasy game in a way. Oh, really? Be the stone. Okay. Man, the colors are even off. I can't even do it by color. <laughs> the color, dude. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. There's far more to being a pirate than a blade in your hand and a love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient okay, caverns by changed. lamplight, digging up long-lost treasures, and raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. But evidently you didn't live For all that, you the tale. you'll need the right equipment. You can start by taking this old shovel. I stowed a few belongings around here back in the day. The map will show you the way. <laughs> Oops. I don't like this one. Right. Jesus fucking Christ. That's the bridge. Is there a way to zoom in on this map? I mean... Nope. 
They don't make it easy. Think of it like this. This game captures the wonder and the... I guess the uncertainty of being a parent. Figured it out. That's all the way at the top. Pretty good at it. Like, as soon as you dig in the right spot, it makes a clunking sound. Yep. You're gonna have... Yes. You're gonna experience this very differently with the headset on. This game, you need to play with the headset on. Pirate Lord was who I was talking to. Mm hmm. The good guy. Captain Flameheart, who you will meet this weekend when we play together, when we do this fleet. He's the bad guy. Basically. Fine weapon! She'll serve you well out there. look like a true pirate there's plenty more to see so why not stretch your legs and explore I'll be here when you're ready to leave So he says there's a whole lot to see here, but is there really? You can come back to it and achievement hunt there later. You just want to complete it so that you don't have to be forced to do it. Um, okay. Well now, I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Allow me to show you the path. The shroud is beginning to part, but you have one more task before your journey continues. You may be ready to sail, but your ship still needs repairs. Go and tend to her wounds.
Okay, I press X on the rope thing and it just oh, makes me one. turn my head. Other one. This one. The front one. Yeah, the flat is up and down. The circle is left to right. And you're looking at the police. Of course, I am going directly into a fuck me storm. Actually, I take this back. It's uh, World of Warcraft pirate style. No. No, I mean as far as them telling you what to do. Yeah, they they walk you through all the basics. You need them. Alright, so when it clicks, I'm going in the direction I need to go, right? Straight. That means you have the wheel dead center when you hit a click. Pink mist. The shroud. Oh. You can't go through it except for special circumstances. Straight. You're not going to be able to go left to right. Just so you know, I've tried.
I mean, it turned me a little bit. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm not even turning the thing, it's turning me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, these seas just got looking mean. So that's what happens if you hear off the map. Everything gets real mean looking like that? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna take you off the map when we get in game here so you can see it. It's an experience. Jesus, it looks like the water just drops out from under me right ahead. What the hell did I get stuck on? You're going the wrong way. You're just supposed to go in between the mists, not side to side. You don't have to steer at all. <clears throat> It'll auto you. Oh, Brother. Huh? Stop sailing and stuff. <laughs> just go <laughs> south. <laughs> it's just gonna keep doing that. Or whatever the direction is that you're supposed to go, which I think is south southeast. Yeah, turn left. I'm talking I'm about the sink again. Did you see the Megalodon yet? No, no, no. Oh, wait, there he is. Just stay on that course the whole rest of the way. <laughs> no, you can turn the wheel, you just gotta keep it straight once you're pointing at something. It's overcorrecting you and then overcorrecting you. Uh, I gotcha. You shouldn't, you should never have a red screen when you're going through this. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. You will. That is literally the whole voyage. Are you serious? I did all that for that. <laughs> Alright, stay that, stay that course north. Just keep the wheel straight. Yeah, I'm not, I am not touching a damn thing. <laughs> You're gonna have to. 
sea always moves me. You'll never stay that straight. It's, it's more realistic that way. The water actually behaves pretty realistically. Game's way of showing you the three big threats. Skull in the clouds, that's cool. That's a skull fort. That's how you know which uh, which fort in the game is active. Sir, was your maiden voyage? I'm mesmerized, bro. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's different. It's one of those games where you get, you wonder where it's been. Like, you ever sit there and look at all your games and be like, man, I want something different, but I don't know what it is. And then you come yep. across something like this, and it's like, yep. yeah, okay, that's that's what I was looking for. And see the thing the thing that makes this game beautiful honestly is the team that runs it is really awesome the game came out in an extremely bare bones state but they focused on getting gameplay right and fixing bugs and making sure the experience was balanced for everyone and then the one year anniversary they added the story mode and a whole bunch of stuff and every month since the one year anniversary which was last march so it's been a year and a half now or coming up on a year and a half They've released di a monthly DLC and updates to the game for free. Every month. Major game upgrades. World updates. So Fortnite does it every, what, so often? These guys do it um, monthly. Like every two weeks. Like, oh, you, world you mean they change, though? like, world changes? Nah, yeah, they do it, like, I believe it's, like, uh, usually 12 weeks. And then the last couple weeks yeah. has been overly extended. But yeah, normally it's, it's a twelve week period. They keep they keep pretty good about updating. So and changing gameplay mechanics. Adding stuff. You know, when they introduced the Megalodon, they had it be an event where you had to have five people summon it. That's why we have a summon the Megalodon song. 
is mm. you had to get a drum and five people had to play a drum on a certain location to summon the shark. So you had to work with another crew because you can only get up to four people on the boat. Uh, you should join my game now because it's just going to throw you into your first game. So, How do I go about go. that? I guess after the loading screen or... Yeah.